Hi and welcome to another episode of Rutger and Brymaster. Today we are going to start a long project. We are making pastrami. And who has ever had pastrami at, for example, Katz's in New York knows it is delicious and it's really worth the wait. All right, what you need for it and how it's being done, I'm going to show you now. All right guys, and this is all we need. We need a piece of beef. In this case, it's a tri-tip from Young Bull and we're going to remove the fat cap uh, because we don't want that. Then we have the brine. I've already measured the appropriate amount and we're going to dilute that with water and inject it into the tri-tip. Then right after, we are going to use the rub. It's a dry rub on the outside and then it's going to go into the fridge for seven days and we're going to flip it every day onto the other side and in seven days time we're going to take it out and then we're going to rub it with the finish rub and put it on the Kamado. Hi right, guys, there you have it. And now you can keep this, you can make it into burger buns, um, burger patties and whatnot. To be honest with you, I have so much in the freezer, my wife's going to kill me, so I'm definitely not going to keep this one, but feel free. Anyways, to keep uh, the mess at bay, I suggest you get one of those. You put this in here, and then we're going to start brining. Now, as this is a wet brine and an internal one, you need one of those injectors. And then what I do is I try like every half inch to inject so that the brine really goes everywhere. The tripod is injected now and um, I've actually captured the juices that ran out in, into this um, coffee mug. Um, I'm going to put it back into the Ziploc bag in a second when I'm done rubbing because there's no point in actually wasting it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply the dry rub. And obviously um, this is a calculated uh, amount as well. So um, if you stick to the recipe and I'm going to post it Obviously in the description um, it is really easy, however um, the rub, brine, etc, it all comes from the same company. Um, so they actually have a recipe that comes with it as well. To be honest with you guys, just stick with it. Um, it is dead simple, it works every time and uh, there's no need to um, yeah, do any experiments uh, unless you really, really want to. But um, if you just want to have a great tasting pastrami, just go with that. All right, so obviously make sure that you get all sides, everything nice and rubbed, um, the front side too, uh, and then we're going to stick it in a second into the Ziploc bag. All right guys, the tri-tip is in the, in the Ziploc bag. Now what I do recommend is that you keep it in a, in a jar or in a, in a form, um, just because you know the bag might rip for whatever reason, and I've had that a few times and obviously the fridge looks rather nasty afterwards. Now what you're trying to do is you're trying to squeeze the air out and you close the Ziploc bag. Um, you could obviously, if you really wanted to, now vacuum pack it. Um, however, I frankly don't feel for it um, and it will do the job as well. All right, this is gonna go in the fridge now and um, I'm gonna turn it every day and then I'll see you latest in seven days. Seven days later, on to the next step, I've already taken out the meat, uh, washed it off, so what you want to do is you want to rinse it thoroughly, you want to get all the, um, the brine rub off, and now what we're going to do is we're going to water it uh, for about half an hour in cold water. Make sure it's covered from all sides. All right, 30 minutes later, this is how the pastrami looks like right now. I've drained the water off. This is our finisher rub and what will happen now is we're going to rub it all over the pastrami, let it sit for another 20 minutes and then it goes on the smoker at about 130 to 140 degrees Celsius until we hit an internal temperature of 68 degrees Celsius.
Right, outside at the barbecue, as I said, we're doing 130 to 140 degrees. I've already preheated the Kamado. We're going to use applewood chunks for a little bit of uh, smoky flavor today. Then we're going to put the deflector stones into the right position. I've already put a drip pan in and put a thermometer into the meat. And now we're going to, let me take off my gloves. We're just gonna set it in there. And let it come out and do its job. About three hours later, the uh, pastrami has reached its core temperature of 68 degrees. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cover it up with a cloth, just to protect it from flies, etc. and let it cool down. And then we're going to vacuum pack it and leave it in the fridge for the next five to seven days. All right guys, another seven days later, here we are and now it's time to open the bag. Quite excited. Mmm, wonderful pastrami smell. And now I think it's time for that initial cut. All right, well, um, we're gonna make one cut like this to see where the fibers go, but that looks already absolutely lovely. I'm gonna make a secondary cut as thin as possible and I think that was worth the wait total of two weeks but I think that's absolutely brilliant all right guys thanks for watching it's been a while in the making but I think you know the pastrami is obviously worth it so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video if you did I would appreciate a thumbs up and a comment and obviously please hit that subscribe button for more great videos to come and I hope to see you soon again at Redken Brymaster